Hello, this is Ronnie, and welcome to chapter one of the virtual DJ basics training. So, you can say the basics of the virtual DJ training set, whatever you can. Okay, so the chapter one is gonna show the basics of virtual DJ. Okay, so this basic, this chapter is gonna be all about the layout. And the layout would be this thing, whole thing. Okay, so I have divided the layout into two parts. So this is the first part, the most complicated part, and this is the second part, which is the explorer and sample tracks and recorder. So let's start with part one. I'll show you from the top. So the virtual DJ logo, the CPU which shows the CPU users of your computer and this is, uh, I don't know what it is actually called but this is something that we used to uh, use for beat matching, for mixing a song. This, I'll show this thing in other videos, not in the basic one but in other chapters and then comes the time that I will use or actually then there is the configuration button so if you go inside the configuration button you can see the sound setup the sound setup has inputs you can select the input like I'm just using a mouse and my laptop so I just have this I have this thing selected if you're using a time code you need this thing Using time codes, then two line ins, microphones, and advanced configuration for advanced DJs. Say. Then comes the output. The out my output is just um, a headset and a mouse. You can say speaker, the headset can also be a speaker. This, this actually shows a single output line, or whether it's a speaker or a headphone or whatever, a single output. And this thing means double output, one headphone and one speaker. And this is an external mixer, I don't know what it is, might be something useful for DJs. This is three lines mixer, maybe something much greater than this thing, but it looks same. And, but as three wires, it has two wires. I've seen the difference, three wires and two wires. Okay, and this is the advanced configuration. This is for, I said, high class DJs. The sound card, as the time, till the time you are on a laptop, just on a laptop, you are to be at the simple. But if you want something else like using some advanced thing, it should be an ACO driver. But simple is the preset, the primary sound driver. So, and the second option here is skins. So the skins are actually according to the screen. If my skin supports this size, so I have this size. If your screen doesn't support this size, you can put on this size or this and this, this, this. And okay, so let's see the second thing. We got two desks and four desks and six desks here. The four desk is gonna have four desks like this. Six decks is gonna. Uh, Six like this one, two, three, four, five, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so additional six down here and two on the top. But I prefer you to use this, this simple thing. So, yeah, I prefer you to use this simple two decks thing. The third option is the mappers. On the mappers, you're gonna have the keyboard shortcuts. So, the keyboard shortcuts is like um, the cues and all. So, you're gonna see this keyboard shortcuts over here and make it use while you're doing a live mix. And then you have the video for people who are editing videos on virtual DJ or supposed video. You can see here. And then there are options. This, the crossfader, pitch range, and all, blah blah blah. 
I I recommend you do not mess with these settings. They are really gonna mess up with your DJ or computer or virtual DJ. In net, it's use net search. You uh, use news groups, save news groups, and uh, uh, sign in, log in to your virtual DJ account. I'm, I'm not logged in. This is for iPhone or iPad. The virtual DJ remote for iPhone or iPad. If you have a iPhone or iPad and have the virtual DJ i remote, so you can scan it and do something to the remote. I don't know. I don't do the iPhone anyway. Okay. So codes and these are the codes codex okay these are the codex the mp3 where you can see the not much use for us simple things uh, this is, this, these are for the producers also the uh, yeah uh, so I'm sorry this is for everyone not much use let's go to performances a sound card and all I I better say don't mess with them in the browser this is for the database but the thing you want to scan they are gonna scan and put this all over here in the desk and even so uh, for the virtual DJ this has an option to check for updates and download plugins so research to factory default too okay okay so we are done with the first panel then now we go down here. This is this is the timeline actually. So I would need to load a song to show you how this thing actually works. So I load this thing. I can okay. So if you see this has a full beat thing. I will show you how the beat thing works. Okay, so you now let's start with the beats. So these are the beats. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is used for mixing. I'll show you how it is done in other way, other chapters. And let's move. Now this is effects. We got a lot of effects like backspin, beat filter, break, echo filter, blender, um, and so everything in chapters. These are for the effects. And this is P1 and P2. I'll show you about how to use them this is a sampler we also have a sampler over here these two are the same things and we also have the effects thing over here okay so now this is the volume control for the sampler so we're going to play this and I can pull the volume down That's going to be a different kind of effect. And then the filter and the key. The filter and the key. Key is the most useful thing. I'll show you how to do it. Don't worry. And then here are the loops. These are the loops button. So these are going to loop according to the beat. Like 1 is just a 1 beat loop. 2 is a 2 beat loop. 4 the 4 beat loop. 8 8 beats loop. 16 is 16 beat loops and 32 is 32 beat loops and this is the in and out and means the start and out means the end shift for the loop moving the loop and this here is the disc the scratcher move this is scratches and next is the queue. You press this button and when you have a set you have set a queue like this, this button takes you to the takes the queue to the place. And then next this is the pause button, the play button, and this is sync button. This syncs the thing or uh, this song to your to the other song. You have a shortcut to this, it's shift plus space. And this is the speed, the speed thing. Pull it up, it makes the song slow. Pull it down, it makes the song real fast. Okay. And when we're done with this thing, we we'll come up here. Well, let me say this and this is totally the same, so I'm just explaining one task. Right here. Here is the mixer. This is the game. 
and I made it in low but in each uh, equalizer things and this shows the visual deck okay so the master the queue and the volume for this for this deck and this for the other deck and this is the crossfader play this song or this song until so you want then there's a video panel if you are playing video on desk one it'll appear here and then you can add some effects to the video I'll prefer you some other software not most of the DJ and this is the scratch so here you can scratch it like this scratch and nothing else a simple scratch thing not much use but yeah it is of much use when you are doing the right thing okay so we're done with the layout one the part one of the layout now let's move to the part two of the layout okay so part two here this is the main browser through here you can open whatever you need on the browsing bar and these that is you can open anyone okay anyone so you need um you can get to the folder actually and in the folder you, can, you have all these things and whenever you need to import a song click it drag it on the desk and leave it and it's important it's important okay so the browser is all it shows the title of the song the artist who wrote it and the BPM BPM means beats per minute I'll explain this in chapter 2 the chapter 2 is a lot of things about beats per minute next is sampler sampler um, is the very same thing of this like we said you have sirens, so put your hands up, push, pump, this, 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 blah, blah I'll show everything it comes to facts, that's just the same like this, like this. We we'll break back then. As I said, these all, as I said, these all things have. This is the effects panel, part two. And you can click on that on desk one or desk two, wherever you need. But you can't activate. Okay. Yeah. And I go to the record thing. It is record and audio. And I'll show you how to render. Um, I mean, record audio out somewhere. I'll show you this thing. This is config free audio. You can just be here where you can set it where you want to save and the format and the bit rate and all. So hit OK and you just start recording and you need to play and it records and saves. So by this, we are done with the chapter one, which is actually all about the basics of virtual DJ. Do continue with the chapter 2 where you're gonna see how to beats per minute dragon and maintain the beats per minute, uh, the 4 beat style, the beat manager, some useful cue control, shortcut cue controls on the keyboard, scratching in two levels, cross fading levels, and much more. Thank you for watching.